Hi, I'm Fabian. I'm a senior security engineer at Edgeless Systems. And today I would like to talk to you about Constellation, our confidential Kubernetes distribution. So in the last video, we saw that confidential virtual machines solve a lot of security issues, but a lot of usability issues arise. For example, how to connect multiple CVMs or continue using cloud services. Um, so let's go through the experience an administrator would have if they were using Constellation to spin up such a confidential Kubernetes cluster. So the journey begins by downloading the CLI and the CLI is the interface the administrator is using to talk to the cloud but also to the cluster. So the first issue they have is to create the cloud resources and we have a Constellation create command that talks to the cloud provider and will instruct the cloud to create both confidential virtual machines and also the network configuration and everything that is necessary to run those. In the second step, the administrator runs the CLI again, but this time with the init or initialize command. And this will connect to one of the CVMs, the first one spawned, and instruct it to bootstrap the Constellation cluster. Once the first node is set up, it has all services deployed that allows additional confidential virtual machines to connect to the cluster in a secure way. And for more details, we will have an upcoming video on that topic. But once the initialized command finishes, you have a fully secure confidential Kubernetes cluster you can work with. Additionally, if you want, you can run a third command that verifies the integrity of the whole cluster. So, this is a very great user experience to create your Kubernetes cluster, but there are more security defaults inside the cluster that help you to run it securely. So let's have a different view where we have two nodes in the same cluster, which are separated via the insecure network. So we deploy Cilium, for example, as our network provider or network interface to connect both pods and nodes in a secure way. Both the pods and the nodes can connect over the network end-to-end -end encrypted. Additionally, we allow to integrate with cloud services, such as a load balancer, but use it on the layer four. So all connections are only ever terminated inside the cluster, and all the data you transmit to your user is only ever decrypted inside your cluster. The same holds true for storage. So you can still consume storage from your cloud provider. And we extended the CSI, so the storage driver for Kubernetes, to also only ever write out data that is fully encrypted. You can use the storage from the cloud provider to create a persistent volume or a persistent volume claim and run your stateful workloads inside Constellation as you would in any other Kubernetes distribution. Okay.